Welcome to the root canal treatment video. The material used in this movie are TF25 Tapero 8, 25 Tapero 6 for the crown down, 40 Tapero 4 for epic enlargement, Indovac system for irrigation, diagnostic element for working lengths, and reseal and element obturation unit for obturation. The case was an upper premolar, a vital case. Odicarius was taken out and the tooth was rebuilt. And now we are seeing the gel that is going to act as a perfect seal in adjunct for the rubber dam. The first step after opening the axis cavity and finding the roots is to take the endovac and to take all the debris to wash them out from the main axis cavity. The tip of the master delivery unit must be angulated towards the walls of the axis cavity. And you can see here the flow of the irrigants coming out from the axis cavity. So actually, sodium hypochlorite is being delivered and then taken out. Next up is patency check, done by a K-file, size 10 or size 15. In a slow watch winding movement, we just check the patency of our canals. Our goal is not to reach the working lengths or the apical area at this time. Just to check if the canals are patent and can accept our rotary files. After patency check, all the debris are digging out with the endovac. The tip of the endovac must be angulated towards of the axis cavity. M4 handpiece is used in ground down motion with stainless steel files. We start with size 20. It will create a glide pass. We start with size 20, 10 to 15 seconds per canal in a brushing movement. We must not force the file in, just leave it where it goes. Endovac is then used to flush all the debris out. And as you can see here, the vapors or the chemical reaction between sodium hypochlorite and the collagen and all the gas formation and some debris coming out from the root canal. Size 15 then is then used after size 20 in order to create a glide pass in the middle part of the root canal system in both canals, palatal and buccal. And you can see the movement of the M4, a small reciprocating and some debris are coming out from the apical area. I used 21 mm stainless steel files and they are pre calibrated on the pre operative x ray. Endovac is then used, and you can see the debris that are coming out from the root canal system and the flow of irrigants inside the access cavity. Changing the main syringe can be easy. You can take a, another one that is fully loaded.
using the macro cannula for drying the previous chemical in order to avoid any dilution of the next chemical and intracanal chemical reaction. And we can also use it for drying the canal before taking the working necks. We adapt the white tubes to the macro cannula and we use it to dry the canals from any previous chemicals before putting a different chemical. I'm using EDTA 17% to take out the smear layer that was produced during the M4 handpiece. We start the crown down technique using TFIs 25 taper 8 and 25 taper 6. This is a 25 taper 08. We never insert the file and lock it inside the root canal and we never rotate the file outside the root canal. What we need to do is to insert the file until we have a contact, go back one or two millimeters, rotate and do a four strokes movement. With five to 600 RPMs and our torque level is set to maximum. And this is the buckle canal, one, two, three, four strokes, as deep as it goes, and that's it. Indovac is then used to take out the debris. And now it's time to use the macro cannula for the middle part of the root canal where the 2508 already prepared the root canal system. And this is how, just to show you how the macro cannula is going inside the middle part of the root canal. The master delivery unit is going to deliver fresh irrigants inside the access cavity. The macro cannula is going to create the vacuum or the negative pressure inside the middle part of the root canal. And this current of fresh irrigants is going to clean the middle part of the root canal and all the isthmuses in this area. We can move slowly the macro cannula, gently, just to allow the irrigants to go inside. And you can see in the animation on the video below how the macro cannula is taking all the irrigants and creating this negative pressure and current of fresh irrigant inside the middle and coronal area of the root canal. The next step is going to be establishing the working lengths with the element diagnostic unit. A size K10 or K15 file is used. Once we touch the file, the element will be activated. We need to go down to minus 0.5, which means that the file is outside the root canal and then to take it out slowly to the 00, zero level, which is going to be our point of reference or our working lengths and I'm using the palatal occlusal reference or the palatal cusp as a reference for my working lengths. So the working length is going to be 22 mm for both canals. I adjust my TF5 2506 to 22 and the 4004 to 22 mm also. The next step is to use 2506 in order to reach the apical area and the working lengths. Again, it's going to be four gentle strokes in the buckle and in the palatal canal. And as you can see on the slow motion, how the 2506 is going inside the root canal, working, cutting, and taking the debris out of the root canal system. Again, the macro cannula is used to clean this area. In both canals. In 
a peak enlargement with the F40, taper 4. I use the 4004 in TF5s. Due to the flexibility of the alloy, I can make the jump from 2506 to 4004 and I can enlarge my apical area to size 40 for different biological consideration. And you can see that the debris are concentrated in the apical area of the file. Now I'm using the micro cannula for the apical area. I adjust my working length to 22. And the micro cannula is inserted in one of the canals. Fresh elegance is delivered from the main unit. And as you can see here, the micro cannula is creating this negative pressure at exactly our working lengths, which is going to be full of fresh irrigant and without any swelling outside the root canal system, which means less pain and less inflammation. If you want to use a different irrigant, like lorhexidine, you may use it. It's going to be delivered from the main unit. The micro cannula is going to take it in all the way to the apical part. The next step is to dry the canal with paper points and we adjust the 40 paper points to the exact working lengths. Now it's time to fit our master cone using the real seal material. Again, 22 mm. We need to be sure we have a small tag back at the last millimeter. If you don't have a good tag back, like here, we can cut like one millimeter from the master cone. And again, adjust it 22 millimeter and try it back in order to have this good tag back or friction between the master cone and the canal in the apical area. It's time to go to the obturation using element obturation unit. Step one is going to be the choice of our pluggers. It's going to be the largest plugger that will reach minus five millimeters from our working lengths. We try them first. And again, my point of reference was the palatal cuspid. So we need to choose the largest one that would go there. Adjusting the unit. First, we switch to S, which is going to be synthetic for reseal. And the temperature is 160 for the down pack. We put a bit of sealer on the master cone. I switch on the filter light on my microscope in order to avoid any chemical reaction or any light curing of the sealer. Both master cones are inserted. 160 degree for the down pack using the system B plugger. At the beginning, I cut the master cone at the orifice. I use a hand plugger to seed the orifice in order to create a maximum of hydraulic pressure. Then the system B is pointed in the middle of each canal. The down pack is done in a couple of seconds, two to three seconds. One millimeter prior to the pre-calibrated length, I switch off the power and I continue until the rubber stop reaches its level. I stop for 10 seconds. The unit will give me a small beep beep sound. And then I activate for one second, like a thermocut, and I take back my plugger. My down pack is completed, 
and as you can see on the video and all the isthmuses are being filled with the obturation material now I just need to apply a bit of sealer I just put a bit of sealer on a paper point or it can be on a clean file or any cone I apply it inside both canals during this time the cutters are being preheated I take the extruder I insert it slowly, gently I don't put any pressure on the needle and I start extruding and you can see the arrows it's going to push me back after that 4-5 millimeters are being filled I fill both canals at the same time I take a hand plugger and I condense this middle part of the root canal I take back the extruder and I fill the coronal part of the root canal in both canals at the same time also then a larger hand plugger is going to adapt the obturation material Light cure is used for 40 seconds to achieve immediate coronal seal of my obturation material. A bit of composite is being used as temporary material before the final restoration is made.